Hey guys, today I'm going to do an overview and demonstration of the LED Keeper. This is a it, it, it's a tool that, that fixes LED Christmas lights. It is by the same company that made the original Light Keeper Pro. And this is meant for fixing incandescent lights like these. That's the red one. And this one, the yellow one, is meant for fixing LED lights. And I believe they did make an LED Keeper Pro. But as far as I know, it's pretty much the same thing. It just looks like the Light Keeper Pro, but in yellow. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff. First of all, this is, this is kind of a package, but it's also the instructions. So it includes some pods. These, if you have a non-replaceable light string, you put this in its place. And inside, if I can open this up, it says pod on it. You see it kind of splices through the wires and there's a resistor inside so and it, and it comes with two of those in the package and you can buy more if needed i haven't used any yet i've had this tool since the end of 2022 because after my first big display in 2022 I had a lot of led lights go out and it's all by this exact same poem which i'll show later and and i have really good luck with this this caught this saved me hours of work and possibly some light strings time and possibly money it comes so it includes the pods it includes place markers they're pretty much clothespin so if you lose one you could just have a regular clothespin i store it on the, the cord here which we'll talk about later it comes with a bulb tester and a fuse tester so you could you don't led lights only work one way you see I just put a bulb and it turned on. It also has a bulb puller, which I'll show later. And it comes with a 9-volt battery, which is the same battery used in most smoke detectors. And that's the one that came with. I hadn't had to replace it yet. Yeah, some other serviceability that you might have to do. Part of how you use it is a little, like, pin thing. I don't know if you can see it like a little pin that pin could wear out over time and you'll have to flip it and probably later on replacement you could buy replacement pins if needed i've probably pinched light sets with this over a hundred times and the pin is still good it also has a trigger to activate it and it sends power so you'll know and it has a red led indicating it's doing its job and yeah if you put a fuse in that light will also light up as well i don't have one with me right now Anyways, so not only this is the package, this is also instructions. You see how it says on the front. Here's the back. There's some stuff. It tells you how it works. It uses insulation piercing to connect to the copper within the light set to eliminate the functioning sections by creating mini circuits. And and you kind of eliminate the, the sections over time until, until you have one bulb remaining that it, it won't go to either side. Which I'll show you later. It's how you narrow it down. They have most of this is in Spanish. At least I think that's Spanish. The only two the only tool available to diagnose and repair LED light sets. That is a hundred percent true. And some other stuff, the company name and stuff. Ultra lit LED keeper light set repair tool. Let's look at the instructions. Kind of opens up. You can read all of that if you want to. I'm going to describe the basic principles. The bottom is all Spanish. You can see how it works right here and there. And that's how to use the pods. So now we're going to fix a light set. So this light set wasn't actually broken when I got out. But it had broke before, so I just used a bad bulb. I actually don't remember which bulb it is. So it's kind of going to be a real thing. So as you can see, the first part works. This is a light, this is a 100 count light set with three sections. You can see most mini lights operate on several sections of 50, but it depends on the size and stuff. This, this light string operates in three sections of 33, or I guess two sections of 33 and one section of 34 to make it 100. So, and this is a circuit change from the working circuit to the section that's out. And then we go to the third section, and that's fully working. And the principles are the same if you add another set. 
So the first thing we have to do to use this is to narrow it down to the sections that's out. That's where these clothes pins come in handy. So you put it between the bulb that's working and the bulb that's not working. And same thing on the other side. You don't have to do it if it's the first section or last section. I just like to do it. It's satisfying to watch the clips get closer as we go. So now we have a, a roughly 30 section that is out. So now we're going to use the LED keeper. If I can get this untangled here. It also consists of a cord. At the very end, there is... A polarized plug what you're supposed to do is take the plug from your light set I already narrowed down the sections you plug it in here and, and yeah so now we're ready so we are we already narrowed down it to the defective section so the first thing you can't really see it that well the first thing you have to do is pick a light bulb Around the middle area, the closer to the middle, the better. Probably around here. And separate the wire. You can only test from the wire coming to the bulbs ever, uh, or else the, the thing won't work. You take your LED keeper, and I kind of have to watch the pin pierce the wire, so I kind of have to adjust it properly. once you get it in, part of the middle section should come on. And as you can see, it did. I don't know why that's not working. It's just a weird flaw about this. It was working before. So now, as you can see, the left section is lighting up and the right section is not. So I'm going to take my clothespin on the left, put it between the last bulb I tested. So now the section is even smaller. We probably about 15 or so lights. So now we we go around the middle of this, pick this bulb. I probably fixed like probably up uh, up close to twenty sets with this so far. In some sets, it'd probably take hours to fix without this tool. Some I probably would have thrown away. There was one tool where I tried literally everything to get it to work. I even tested every single bulb, and I couldn't do it until we got the LED keeper because the bulb was like in a way where it only tests. In the bulb tester, it kind of in the light keeper pro. But anyways, as you can see, now the right is lighting up. So we take the clothespin from the right and move it to there. Now we've narrowed it down even further. We have ten lights. So we do this again. Separate the wire again. Loop it around the LED keeper. Make sure the pin is going to pierce it properly. That was not a good connection. That was also not a good connection. There we go. You can see the lights are getting brighter as we go. So now the lights on the right are working. We have five lights left. We just kind of keep doing this over and over again until we find the bad bulb. So those lights work. I'll move it to here. We have two lights left. You just kind of put it between them. Okay, that one works. So now we've narrowed it down to this bulb. So I just tested it from the left. We tested it from the other side just to confirm that this bulb is bad. Kind of have to get used to it. Hadn't used the LED keeper in a, in a while since... It's October, I'm about to 
probably use it a lot. Yeah, see, now the right is lighting up, so that means this bulb is bad. I'm going to show you the most common problem with these. This is an actual bulb that I'd taken out of here that was in my burned out bulbs bag. You see, I actually show a good, good bulb first. I hate focusing issues. You see on the bottom of the bulb, there are two pins. And on this one, which is the replacement bulb, they're both intact. Now let's go to the bulb I just took out. This side is good, and this side is not. This is the most number one cause I've seen with LED lights failing outside. Because the rain, it corrodes and rusts the pins off, and they detach. And it causes the entire circuit not to work. If this didn't happen, LED lights could last indefinitely. But it's just a thing. Have to deal with time to time. It's with almost every single defective LED. So now, let me show you something else. Let me put the bad bulb back in. So there are several types of lights. So this light set has a replaceable light bulb. So... so some replaceable light bulbs has these little hinges. You just have to open that up and pull the bulb out. Put the new one in. So yeah, that fixed it. And on some other light sets, like this one, the bulbs are non-replaceable. They're sealed shut. Now, when they are sealed, there is a way less likely chance they'll fail in the first place since water can't get in to curl the pins. And here's another type of replaceable bulb. These are like some C9 lights. They're like C9s. Well, you, you cannot fix a 120 volt C9 LED C9 lights like this. It has to be the low voltage were the ones that are wired in series. The ones that are wired in parallel. Let me see if I can find one. This is just an empty set. Light sets that are wired in parallel, the LED keeper cannot fix. If you have sets and sockets that look like this, most likely it's a bad fuse. Either it's a bad fuse or every bulb is burned out or there's some other wiring damage. You also can't fix low voltage lights like ones that have a power supply at the beginning. So it has to be a series connected light string where each bulb runs on low voltage, but the string runs on high voltage. It has to have a plug that's similar to this. So yeah, it, but that's most often the ones that fail. So that shouldn't really be a problem. Another series connected light set with replaceable bulbs are these. And if I take this off, you just unscrew it like a regular light bulb. There's a regular bulb in there, and there's no clip on these. It's supposed to pull. This one's not really wanting to. And that's where the bulb puller comes in, but this particular one's kind of flawed, where you do that. But, but if you are like this, you could just use a flathead screwdriver, and it should come out. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. And I'll show the bulb puller next. Okay, let's just pretend that this bulb can't come out. It can come out. I'm just going to show you the bulb puller if it can't. Maybe it got rusted in from, or something. So you take the bulb puller on the LED keeper. Kind of line it with the crack on here. It just goes like that. I do prefer the bulb puller on the Light Keeper Pro. It just has more features. But yeah, they basically work the same. Like I said, if you have something like this, then you could just use a flathead screwdriver to, to kind of pull it out. Had to do that several times. So, can't think of much else to say on the LED Keeper. It's a really nice tool. I use it dozens of times with pretty much 100% success rate. The only light set I was not able to fix with the LED Keeper, which isn't really the LED Keeper's fault, is this Jemmy Rainbow Sparkle light set. It failed in 2023. I don't know what happened, if it's shorted out or what, but half the bulbs fried. And I was able to get the other half the bulbs working with the LED Keeper, but 
like all the reds and stuff were out so i just had to get rid of it from the display and throw it away which is sad and this was 30 dollars too and it was fully sealed and the bolts are non-replaceable so it's a bit unfortunate but it's really the only lights that i lost in the past couple of years besides incandescent sets which i scrapped for spare bulbs on purpose so that's really all i have to say about the led keeper it is absolutely amazing i've used it a lot in the past three years and i'm going to use it a lot more it's really amazing and i'm not going to show how to change the clip but you can see there's videos on that on the led on the light keeper pro channel and let me know if you want me to make a demo overview and demonstration of the light keeper pro most of the features does work on leds but don't do this on the leds or pull the trigger and again, it has a lot of the same features like the bulb tester and bulb puller. Also, has a voltage detector, which can work on LEDs too. I think the batteries are starting to run out on this. But anyways, I hadn't replaced those here. They just use watch. They just use watch batteries. Well, this use nine volt battery, like in smoke detectors. So, it's pretty much all I have to say. My workshop's an absolute mess. Hope you enjoyed and expect some Christmas display videos coming. I'm preparing and hope you enjoyed.